Hey guys, Mike here. Uh, we're over at the uh, escape room. We are going to walk through uh, one of our games and I'll give you a brief a brief summary of how we come up with um, our ideas and how we structure the first 10 minutes of our games. Uh, it's very unique, I think, compared to some other games I've been to. Uh, some of the stuff that we do to make our games uh, flow really nicely. So let's go in and see what we got. Again, this is our jungle game. Uh, it's designed for three to ten players. You walk in, and this is kind of what you see. So if you notice, there's pretty much two parts of this room. The room I'm in, and behind this gate. So behind the gate, there's a bunch of stuff going on. There's a door there. A giant wheel of colors. Something under a pull, pull rope right here. And another door. So, in the recap, we'll go through this room real slow. Just switch here. Door here. Some joysticks here. Another lock right here. A lock right here. And some symbols right here. If you notice this symbol, these symbols match the one up there. So, as you can guess, the first number is one, since if you look at that shape, and that shape up there. So we designed these rooms basically so when you walk in, we want you guys looking, want the group looking through the room for the first pretty much eight to ten minutes. Uh, you know, they shouldn't be solving a puzzle in the first five seconds. We want everybody to get a good grasp of what's going on in the room. Uh, so if you notice this puzzle right here that we just saw the number four, you get one of the four numbers, but you're still looking for the other three. Um, that's pretty much the third puzzle in the game. So you do two puzzles before that, and then the third part, um, you'll get access to these other numbers to complete this to get to the next part of the room. But in this other room, you can see a stuff like there's a switch in the corner, there's a mirror sitting there. So you kind of expect to get those items in a couple minutes, uh, but you can like search through the whole game first to find other secrets. So the first thing in the game you gotta do is actually hidden right underneath this black piece of felt and pretty much finding four objects to open up this lock. Uh, the four objects, you know, hard hat, come over to the hard hat and We see a number right there. I can even find it for a minute. But we want the, the groups to search the whole room. That way they get a good layout of what they have to open and what's going on. So the second one, find a gas can. You come over here to the gas can. You got another number. So we're forcing the the groups to search the whole room to find stuff. That way they familiarize themselves with the layout, with what other objects they have to open, what kind of locks are there. Uh, next one, this is gonna be a, some rope and then a lantern, lantern's right here. You look on the lantern, you get the number zero, and so forth. So you open up that, a big light comes on over here to help you get the joysticks going. Uh, that light, lets the groups know that they solved the puzzle and what to focus on next. That way they know to come over here to work on the joysticks now. Plus, as watching the group, we know they had that lock open since their cameras aren't super high def. We see the big bright light and we know that they had that open. So they get that open in about six to eight minutes um, after you know, looking through everything. So they're, fam they're familiar with the room already and they can come over here, solve these, open up this cabinet, which gets them 
the ability to get the next clues to solve these numbers. You solve these numbers, open this up, this gate pops open, and they're in the next part of the game. Um, the only lock they don't open, they have to come back for, is this, which they open up in about 10 minutes later after solving uh, you know, some more puzzles along the way. So we, we make them come back and solve a puzzle later. It's not like you beat one room and go to the next. Um, so you have to come back here, kind of remember what you haven't solved yet, um, and you know the ability to beat the room. We always want the first couple minutes of a room to search the room, to familiarize yourself with the room, and then before going on to the next room, since most of our games are all multi-room games, um, makes it a good flow, and uh, that's just kind of how we design our rooms. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, and I'll catch you next video.